Welcome to our first ever virtual open event. We know that the lockdown has presented our families with many opportunities and many challenges, not necessarily in equal measure, but we hope this film finds you all safe and well. Welcome to our Anglo family. Our school curriculum is built around five key pillars. The philosophy, mission and values of the International Baccalaureate, a broad and balanced baccalaureate curriculum, the outstanding teaching of languages, eight in all, an extensive visits and exchanges programme and the teaching and promotion of citizenship at a local, national and global level. Our learner profile identifies key attributes that we hope to instil and develop in our young people throughout their education at Anglo-European. We want our students to be inquisitive, knowledgeable, critical, articulate, principled, open-minded, kind, courageous, healthy, reflective, creative, and enterprising. You will be the judges of our success as students leave us, some in year 11, but most at the end of the upper six. Anglo-European has an exceptional, internationally recognized, ambitious curriculum. At its heart, it has a commitment to a broad, and balanced, inclusive curriculum based on internationalist principles. In 2019, our curriculum was validated by the National Baccalaureate for England Trust as meeting these objectives, not to be confused with the English Baccalaureate or EBAC. Students followed the national curriculum in Key Stage 3 and 4. In our international sixth form, the breadth continues with four pathways, A-level, International Baccalaureate Diploma, International Baccalaureate Career Programme and a mixture of IB and A-level subjects. The choice of subjects is extensive across all four routes. 80% of our students get into their first choice universities and this year 36% of these students attended Russell Group universities. An increasing number choose to pursue higher level apprenticeships and others pursued study in universities abroad in Spain, Bulgaria, Germany, the Netherlands and the United States. In addition, our students study two languages from year seven, a core program of citizenship as well as subjects in the humanities, technology and arts until the end of year nine. They must all complete a personal research project in all three key stages. The curriculum has a predominantly GCSE profile reflected in very high EBAC percentage, which is broad and balanced at Key Stage 3 and 4. At Key Stage 4, again, students follow a pathway that has a core of academic subjects, English, mathematics and science, physical education, and a range of option choices that require continued study of the humanities, the arts and technology. The students have one period of tutor time where literacy, numeracy and approaches to learning is delivered, as well as academic mentoring, support for mental health and well-being and independent study. The average number of Key Stage 4 qualifications pupils were entered for in 2019 was nine and the school entered pupils into 13 of the 17 recognised Key Stage 4 subject clusters in 2019. Relationships are strong in this school and born out of a mutual respect between students and teachers who recognise that both learn from and inspire each other. Supported by our parents and governors who show a relentless commitment to the school's aims and ethos. The students collaborate effectively and support each other, not only in lessons, but when travelling abroad or to and from school, or when they look out for each other, forming strong and lasting friendships. The next pillar on which the school is founded is the outstanding teaching of languages. The school teaches eight languages as part of its curriculum. French, Spanish, German, Italian, Russian, Chinese, Japanese and Arabic, as well as English as an additional language for those who arrive with a poor command of English. The prestigious Mandarin Excellence Programme is run in partnership with the University College London, the British Council and the DfE, and has been taught here for the last five years with the aim of achieving fluency in Chinese Mandarin by year 11, supported by an extensive enrichment programme, including intensive study visit to China in year nine. The international curriculum is also taught through an impressive and extensive visits and exchanges programme, which supports the students' learning of languages and culture. Last year, over 700 young people took part in the exchange programme. We 
have over 20 partner schools in France, China, Japan, Germany, Spain, Italy, India and South Africa, China and Russia, alongside a wide range of extracurricular and study support activities which support the acquisition of cultural capital for all our students. In addition, the International Drama Academy run a Chinese homestay and environmental projects to India, tours to Japan, Sri Lanka, France, China and India during the school holidays. Students in Year 10 and the Lower Sixth have the opportunity to conduct their work experience abroad and we now have established international work experience exchange programmes in Paris, Frankfurt and Madrid. Each year we hold an international day where every child in the school is encouraged to wear their national dress and celebrate elements of their culture through a spectacular and vibrant and very colourful day where they celebrate the diversity of each other's rich and varied heritage, languages and culture. The collective result is an exciting, vibrant international community who care about each other. The school has a strong culture of safeguarding and a strong, exceptionally well-trained team who ensure effective systems are in place to support students in need. Pastoral care is strong and effective. Our students have a dedicated tutor, a year leader and a pastoral team who know the students really well and have an embedded and established strategies to support our students. To protect and enhance their physical and mental health, manage their workload effectively and develop strong, healthy and supportive relationships is an ongoing priority for the school. Our students then are well qualified, ambitious, resilient and principled young people who are internationally minded and have a strong sense of their place in the world and how they want to change it for the better. Welcome to the Anglo family. Hello, my name is Miss Jane and I will be the Year 7 Year Leader for the next academic year commencing in September 2021. Today I am going to talk to you about my role as a year leader and the role of the achievement team here at the Anglo-European School. My role as a year leader is to support students in my year group with their progress, attainment and well-being. As a year leader, I also monitor attendance, punctuality and behaviour as well as celebrating the many successes and rewards of our students. The well-being of all of the young people that I look after is one of my top priorities and I will always support them in any way that I can. Regarding the transition from Year 6 to Year 7, we work as closely as possible with the primary schools that our students arrive from to make the transition as seamless as possible. We also invite them to participate in induction days in the summer term. This gives students the opportunity to spend time in school, getting to know staff and their peers while also experiencing some taste lessons. Here at the Anglo, each student is placed in one of eight forms. The form tutor is the first point of contact for both pupils and parents. Form tutors are able to build a good relationship with their students as they see them each day for registration and a one hour period once a fortnight. They support them daily with a variety of issues ranging from uniform to classroom equipment, behaviour and wellbeing. My role as a year leader is supported by the Key Stage 3 Pastoral Manager. We work very closely together when dealing with students and they are an additional level of support for any young person to speak to if they have any problems. I also work closely with the attendance manager and the designated safeguarding lead to deal specifically with any issues relating to their roles. At Anglo, we recognise the importance of parental engagements. In the first instance, for general inquiries, parents would contact the form tutor. The form tutor then allocates the query to the appropriate member of staff to deal with. The pastoral team and I contact parents if we have any concerns, but also we are able to discuss positive aspects of your child's schooling, including achievement and rewards. We see the relationship between school and parents as a partnership, and we work with them to ensure the success of the child. Parents are invited to attend parents' evenings where the child's progress and achievement will be discussed with subject staff and guidance given as to how they can further improve. We can offer parents 
the opportunity to attend information evenings about our curriculum, assessment strategy and relevant events and activities for that year group. The achievement team plays an important role in each student's life here at the Anglo. We are focused on supporting and encouraging students to be the best that they can be throughout their time with us. I look forward to meeting our next cohort of Year 7 students next year and supporting you all on your unique journey as an Anglo-European student. I chose to come to Anglo because I lived in Italy for 18 months, so when I returned to England, I wanted to come to a school that was linked to languages and could help me keep up my Italian. After visiting Anglo, I found out that you can learn loads of different languages, from Mandarin to German, Russian and even Japanese. So I applied with my mum and was delighted to find out I got in. I also applied for the MEP so I could learn Mandarin from year 7 to 11 and I got in for that too. However, when I started Anglo for the first time, I discovered that it was more than just a school that specialises in languages. There were so many other brilliant aspects to it. The Anglo students and teachers are a community which we call the Anglo family and they are lovely teachers and students who helped me in my year settle into year 7. If I ever had any friend issues, I could talk to my form tutor, my head of year or the pastoral team. The Anglo family made the transition from primary to secondary school so much easier than I thought it would be. I settled in so quickly and soon made, soon made friends with a lot of great people. I have had many great experiences at Anglo, but some of the best were joining the Lambda Club, where I have learned to become a confident actor, learn man, learning Mandarin, which is such a fascinating language, and making a poster about Isabella I of Castile for a history competition. I have made so many new friends by doing these things, and I am so grateful for that. The Anglo-European School was our first choice on the school's application form because of the international emphasis and the languages programme. At the start of Year 7, one of the things I was most nervous about was being the youngest in the school. But the older students are really friendly and helpful, especially in the first few weeks when we needed help finding our way around the school. I really got the sense of the Anglo family. I was also nervous about travelling to school on the train as I had always walked to my junior school but loads of other kids take my train and we all look out for each other. My favourite lessons are art, science and computing. Best of all is computing. I love how coding is like another language that you use to talk to computers. There are lots of lunchtime clubs to try. I joined the drama club because I want to be more confident and not be nervous when talking in groups. When I leave school, I want to be an entrepreneur, travelling the world, investing in foreign businesses and bringing new technologies to the UK. I think that the Anglo could help me with that. Learning language is important, but it also helps to develop an understanding of different cultures and it helps me learn what it means to be a citizen of the world. Hi everyone, my name is Oliver and I was born in Chicago, Illinois in 2003. Anglo is not my local school by any means, but I've chosen to travel here by train since year seven. Uh, because the range of opportunities that Anglo provides me, which I know I wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. For example, the Visits programme, which has helped me visit all over Europe while studying French and Spanish for GCSE, and the amazing range of A-level and IB uh, courses that we have here at Sixbourne. I've made friends with students from all across the globe uh, by coming here, and I don't think that would have happened if I had gone with any other school. Even though I'm coming towards the end of my time here at Anglo, it's been 100% worth it, and I do hope you choose the same uh, route I did. Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm head girl at Anglo-European. Before I joined, I was really nervous about whether I'd fit in and make friends because I come from Egypt and Anglo would have been my fifth school, but the school pretty much lives up to its promises and it is as internationally diverse as it claims to be, so I fit right in. Anglo is very academically challenging and it pushes students out of their comfort zones, which is why I was able to become head girl as a new student, so I'm really appreciative to Anglo for this. So if you're trying to better yourself as a student and find a new school to call home, then make sure you join the Anglo family.